What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. The Dreadnought is a massive hive spaceship that serves as a fortress of Oryx, the Taken King. But have any of you guys ever wondered how big is the Dreadnought? So there was so many of you guys commenting and asking for a Dreadnought size comparison in my last video, How Big is a Fallen Catch? And I would highly suggest going and checking out that video before you watch this one. But I definitely left out the Dreadnought on purpose for reasons that you'll find out later. So when I started researching how to tackle this complex question of how big the Dreadnought is, I pretty much ran across two doctrines on how to measure it. We've got the Ring Theory and we've got the Comet Theory. So Ring Theory is probably the most controversial of the two and Comet Theory is more math heavy, so we're going to cover Ring Theory first. So Ring Theory is almost entirely based off of this video right here, the video of your ship flying next to Saturn's rings. Now this technique was pioneered by Reddit user Zenocide321. He definitely did the most heavy lifting for this theory. So when trying to find the scale of something, really the most important thing you need to do is find something that you know the size of. And in this case, we're going to use Saturn's rings. So it's very well documented that Saturn's C ring is 17,500 kilometers wide. Using this information, you can extrapolate the size of the dreadnought by taking measurements from other places in the photo and correcting for the perspective of the photo. Doing this, you can actually get a pretty accurate estimation of the actual size of the dreadnought. And in this estimation, the dreadnought measures about 3,500 kilometers. So let's think about that number real quick, 3,500. All right, you done thinking? Yeah, that number is absolutely amazingly huge, but we'll get into that later in the video. But anyway, we're gonna move on to comet theory now. So comet theory, in my opinion, is a much more accurate way of measuring the dreadnought. It's basically entirely based on two things. This comet, it's got a Russian name that I do not wanna say because I will absolutely butcher it. So I will just call it 67P. And the second thing is this video of the comet hitting the side of the dreadnought. So to get back to the comet, and yes, this is a real comet, 67P was actually recently in the news because the European Space Agency basically just landed a drone on it, part of the Rosetta Space Mission. Pretty cool stuff. So we actually know this comet really well. And most importantly, we know the size of it, 4.3 kilometers long. So like I said before, you need a reference point when you're trying to find the scale of something. And 67P is gonna be our reference point for this theory. So by my measurements, the comet takes up 14 pixels on the side of the dreadnought. And then I measured one of these panels on the dreadnought, and that came out to be about 1,246 pixels. And so if you do the math, you can actually fit about 89 comets in each section of the dreadnought. And since the dreadnought has eight sections plus two half sections, and not measuring those things that stick out the back and the front of the dreadnought, and if you do the math there, you can actually fit about 89 comets in each section of the dreadnought. And so if you do a little bit more math, you'll actually get a really cool answer. Comet theory shows that the dreadnought is 3,444.3 kilometers long. And so let's compare that number to our ring theory number. And yeah, look at that, within about 60 kilometers of each other. And so I think this proves that the dreadnought is about 3,500 kilometers in the area. And so now I know exactly what is on all of your guys' minds. How big is 3,500 kilometers? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty big. In fact, it is one of the biggest science fiction ships I have ever seen. 3,500 500 kilometers is just about the same size as our moon. Yeah, that's no moon. I think this is absolutely incredible. So yeah, the playable area in the Dreadnought definitely isn't this size, but I just think it's really cool. Next time you're in the Dreadnought, take a look around and know that you're literally standing on a moon right now. But anyway, I hope this video answered a lot of your guys' questions. It certainly answered mine. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to check out my ship size comparison. It goes along with this video really well. Thanks for sticking with Widgeon TV. Thanks for watching, guys.